Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I shall be reviewing The Light by Chris Congreve. Before we do this, very important that at any point from now until just after you look at onlinemagic.co. I've just recorded two more chapter to the Royal Road to Card Magic course, now up to page 200 and something, every single thing in that book in a course. Imagine, even if you're not new to Card Magic, you go through there, you're going to have such a vocabulary, you're going to know so much more, unless you're one of those people that is a proper geek, and I'm a proper geek, and I know more through reading it. So this little bit of uh, talking is not really making much sense anymore, <laughs> so have a look at onlinemagic.co. That and loads and loads and loads of other courses, rubber band magic and other things. Right, I'm bored of saying that now. But you won't be bored of looking at it with all them hundreds of videos. And like and subscribe, Instagram, at Steve Faulkner, and the podcast. Keep men forgetting to mention it. I've uh, got another, another two in the bag, which I need to edit. Uh, very exciting ones and very good fun. So you are going <laughs> to... Such a weird way of explaining a podcast, isn't it? Very good fun. You're going to have a lot of fun listening to me, Steve Fortner's Magic Show podcast. Oh, gosh. Right. The Light. I didn't know about this. And talking about the podcast, talked to Dave uh, Forrest on there, Dave Forrest of 52 Productions, who put this out, I think, about 10 years ago. And I kind of missed that. And it was in my wilderness years, I think. So I didn't know what it was. Dave's re-released it. He sent it to me. Said, have a look at this. As I usually do when I think, oh, it's a car to impossible location. I don't want any more of them. I've got my John Allen destination box. That's my best ever. Don't need to mess with that. I've got loads of other things, card under glass. Why would I need another one? And then it's popped into my <laughs> close-up case, which I have yet to use. But the, the reason is, is because destination box is beautiful, but it's big. And sometimes I just kind of don't use it because I've just got bang around so many people. This is kind of like a mini alternative to that. Great thing is, it fits in my pocket because it's a lighter and it is a card to lighter. So, impossible location. Great thing is, like all the best cards to impossible location, is the thing is out already. Now, some of you think, why would I get a lighter out? And for some of you, like if you're 12 or something like that, it might not be the right thing. Chris does a really nice thing where he talks about the shiner, the genuine gambling thing. Do you know that people used to use lighters? So you can actually do a trick with that and then explain it if you want as a gambling thing, not as exposure. But I think that's actually really nice because it justifies the lighter. He's got loads and loads of routines. Also, you can do a note, you can do a billet, anything like that. He's got loads of good note routines. He's got a thing with a cigarette if you want to go down that route, which is like a double um, card to impossible location. And loads and loads of things. I'm not going to list them all because there's loads, but you're not just going to get this one routine. But I always like the kind of most straightforward notes. I don't do note magic anymore, really, because nobody's got them. Straightforward. You've signed a card. I've done a lot of stuff with it. It ends up in a thing. So if you don't want to do any of that, you can just, if you're old enough and it kind of looks in context and it's in a casual situation like I did today, literally, office up there, got that out as if it was nothing to do with it, did the trick, and then went back to it. I like that because it's it's kind of like a callback. Something that is irrelevant becomes kind of the main part of the trick. There are loads of things he does where he, he tries to light it, you know, he tries to burn um, a note, you know, in a wallet and, he's, and it doesn't work and it ends up in the, in the lighter, which is great. So very versatile, a lot more versatile than I thought. You can also customise it. It does have a red back bicycle gimmick in it. You can change that very, very easily and you get the stuff to do that. It will take you minutes to do, so it doesn't have to be the card that you get in it. I think it's great. I think anything that's in play beforehand, as I said, it's easy as well. And I say that with a little kind of... The word is... Disclaimer, no, caveat, yes, that's the word, is that you are going to have to do, as I think it's okay to say, a fold. But as he says, and a lot of people are scared about this, it's not a mercury fold, it's a different one. Think about the size of it, you pull the thing out and there's the card in there. 
But the trick's finished before this, and it doesn't have to have, but if you're worried about any of that, in the bit of footage I got, <laughs> I did my usual thing of going over there, watching the thing, not even practicing. Actually, I did practice to fold, but not practicing much more other than playing with it, seeing what it's gonna look, gonna look like at its most basic. You know, I got even halfway through the routine and changed my mind in that one. Tried the classic force, didn't work, so I got out of it. So I will show that, but just know, don't do what I did. It's messy, it's rushed, it's quick. I make it look more than it actually is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need that. Right, just grab one of them. Anyone you want. Yep, so I'll take a different one. And I'll just keep going. Okay, have a look at that. You yep. happy with that? Yeah. Okay, what is it? Doesn't matter if I see it. Okay, do you want to swap it for a different one? I'll keep it. All right, so you could have swapped it for a different one. Yeah. And that's a five. So we're going to count down five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So what I want you to do is take this card. Actually, yeah. no, you can... You can push the card in yourself, all right? So just push it in yourself there. You don't have to answer it, all right? <laughs> and it's in there, right? Yeah. Now, earlier on, you saw me put that lighter down. You might presume that that wasn't part of the trick, but look. Yeah. There's a card in there, and just there, folded, is the yeah, card with your. So... Now, the way you get this out, there are various methods of doing it. Uh, on the download, Ian Moran's on. I love Ian Moran. He's such a lovely human being. So Ian Moran has uh, a method which I was actually thought of, and then I saw him do it, and I thought, oh, yeah, cool, great, because he's got the same idea. So many ways of doing it. Some are more complex than others. For me, it's literally just pick it up, chuck it out, and it's done. But as I was going to say, in the footage, I digressed a bit there, didn't I? I, I pumped it in the wrong hand. So when she was doing the thing, I was just like, put it in that hand, do the thing, nobody's looking. I didn't do it at the end of the trick. I did it when I'd switched a card and she was pushing it into the deck. So if I can do that, with all that going on, then you're fine. So you can do it within the trick, but when you want to do that fold when you're learning, you can do it in the pocket, you can do it when the trick's over, you do an ambitious, ambitious card routine. Do the oh, oh, one more thing, the lighter on the table. And then, you're done. So don't worry about it. You've got all the time in the world. I wasn't wearing a jacket and I did it today. It's when you know what you can get away with with that sort of thing, when you've got the misdirection of the trick being finished, it, you're fine. Super, super easy. It doesn't have to be super neat. If you want it super neat, you can use John Allen's Perfect Score, which will give you a really tightly um, folded note, but I wasn't worried about any of that. You can, there is, like I said, a version without palming. You can finish a trick, put the deck in your pocket and do the same thing. So you haven't got a palm, but even if you have, it's when everything's done. So I think it's really cute. It's really sweet. It's strong. It's great for pocket space, and that is becoming more and more important. I promised I wouldn't add anything in my close-up case, uh, and I have because it's little, and I'm looking forward to taking this out. And I'm genuinely going to do that. So I've taken it and shown it in a weird, sterile setting, and I've got one of those quiet responses that kind of went, did she enjoy that? And then afterwards she was like, That's, I can't get my head around it. So great trick. Easy, I would say. Once The fold is super easy once you've got the confidence to do it. Uh, Chris gives you loads of routines to do with it as well. So he, he's got this live bit of footage of him kind of as they say in the trenches. It's very funny because he's doing all the old gags, which I love, by the way. I've never, but he does them so well and he's very kind of personable and these people are in hysterics and they're proper people you know this isn't a stuffy corporate event nothing wrong with that I do loads of them and you know, footage of loads of them as well but I like it when it's you know the the responses are just brilliant they're just they're in hysterics at some of his gags he's very good at delivering them so like I said the footage was a long time ago and uh, I don't mind that you know it's it's a it looks like it's been shot a while ago but you get everything and you get like an hour of more than an hour of stuff and you get loads of um, performances of this as well. I think a nice thing would be to do a card as I do with Destination Box actually, card under lighter, keeps coming under the lighter and then it's in the lighter. So I think it's a good bit of kit. It's not cheap, um, it has been very well made, it's going to last you forever and you can actually put a flint in it and use it for flash paper as well if you want to do that and go on that route. But it, you can't light it, that's important. But it's, um, it's a lovely one. Right, thanks very much. 
don't think there's anything else I've got to say, is there? Thank God, I hear you say. But check it out. Use the links below. That's from Dave Forrest 452 and it's Chris Congreve's The Light. Any questions, do comment below. I will answer them either in the podcast or in my next waffle uh, or I'll reply to you directly, which I do most of the time anyway. Thanks very much. Have a great one. Cheers.